the public's pulse on this is very delicate and also one that it never is in good taste to give yourself a raise. The public voiced their anger and frustration and even booed Palm Coast City Council members last week when they voted 4-1 to one to give themselves a 365% pay raise. At a workshop yesterday, Mayor David Alfin expressed his openness to lowering the pay hike. My goal here is to find a solution that would represent the unanimity of city council if we could find a solution that all city council members could be in favor of councilman nick klufus also wasn't opposed to taking a different approach that might be more palatable i potentially see the conflict because when i signed up for this job the second time i still knew i was only making nine grand a year which is fine and i'm okay with that but do i see a path where we could potentially have more viable candidates because of the salary increase absolutely so i'd be willing to not only a discuss low lowering the raise to something more equitable, such as a school board's position, but then also alleviating the concern that I was here trying to give myself my own raise and phasing in a raise. Councilman Ed Danko wants to move forward with the current pay hike. I think we did the right thing for the future. And, you know, we had more people here upset about the Green Lion than about this pay compensation. So I'm not that concerned about it. Vice Mayor Eddie Branchino, who's not running for re-election, cast the sole no vote. We're changing the rules in the middle of the game. If we are going to go with this astronomical raise, I think we should put it in the hands of the people out there. Tell us, because we got to listen to them, and we just showed them here that we're not listening to them. If the pay raises are approved in a second reading at council's meeting next week, starting after the next election, members of council would make more than $44,000 a year. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. A man is arrested in Benel on charges of falsely impersonating a police officer at a fast food restaurant. Benel officers were called to the Wendy's on Commerce Parkway Monday, where Chief David Brannon says they arrested Jesse Stover. So our officers were dispatched to the Wendy's regarding a disturbance that apparently was occurring between the person who was arrested and the manager over a dispute where he apparently was trying to require them to give him some sort of discount for his food and initially claimed to be a police officer and then flashed a badge at the staff um, and then changed the story and said he was actually an undercover DEA agent. Through their investigation, police say Stover had been demanding and getting a discount under these false pretenses for more than two years. Police say he possesses a concealed weapon permit badge that's very similar to a law enforcement badge. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Amy Cherry. A convicted felon in Flagler County is back behind bars for the 13th time. For a dozen times, Andre Darrell Harvey has spent time behind bars for various felonies. The latest one, the 13th one, after attempting to burglarize a home where his estranged wife was inside. Flagler County Sheriff Rick Staley has many more details on the manhunt. Deputies responded to an armed burglary and identified the suspect in the vehicle that he was fleeing in. Deputies spotted the vehicle. He fled from deputies, abandoned the car, and fled on foot. With the assistance of Volusia County Sheriff's helicopter and our Sheriff's Office K-9 unit, along with patrol deputies, this convicted felon that was armed with a gun was apprehended. What I want to know is what in the hell is a 12-time convicted felon not in prison? Well, he's back at the Green Roof Inn, and hopefully he'll go to prison for a very long time after this incident. Sheriff Staley says a further search near Harvey's vehicle resulted in the recovery of a plastic baggie containing 11 grams of fentanyl on the ground near his abandoned car. Harvey has convictions dating back to 1997. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. We're learning more about Palm Coast's newest councilman and what he wants to accomplish in that role. John Finelli became the interim District 2 councilman last month. Finelli is a lifelong Palm Coast resident. I've been here for 35 plus years now, uh, married for 11 to my beautiful wife, Joelle. We have three uh, amazing children that are just my heart and my world. Liliana, who's nine, Sophia, who is about to be seven, and Johnny, who's four. Finelli worked a lot of jobs before his current position as flight schools coordinator of student supports and behavior. I worked at Eckerd. I worked at Perkins. 
wash dishes at the VFW. It's just been a, a great, great life for me growing up in Palm Coast. And that's why I'm so proud to be able to represent our citizens and, and hopefully be able to continue to steer our city in that positive direction and give my children and the children of Palm Coast that same experience as they grow up. Finale will keep his council seat until November. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Birch Petschke. How do you write a good resume? Judy Brown with Career Source says you have to get somebody's attention or a robot could turn you down for the job. Resumes are, I'd like to call it a living document. Resumes have to be changed up for every position that you apply for. Brown said the resumes have to be targeted to the employer and the specific job, and they have to contain those key words that you see in the job postings. She said that employers have a way of looking for specific words when they consider an applicant's resume. We have the applicant tracking system now that a lot of the companies use where your resume may not even get into the hand of a human. Brown said that if the bots don't reject your resume, you'll get about five seconds of a human's FaceTime. You can listen to Lifeline on WNZF on Saturday mornings at 9 or on the Flagler Radio app anytime. Tomorrow, what's the job situation in general? From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.